It seems like spring has finally sprung here in town, but is it here to stay? Here is what we can expect this season. Signs of spring seem to be all over the Riverwalk recently, with temperatures reaching above average for this time of year. But you may want to hold off grabbing that Froyo just yet. Well, we're expecting the jet stream pattern, which drives all our storm systems and cold air in the, uh, in the wintertime, to kind of go back into a pattern somewhat similar to what we saw back in February when it was pretty really cold across the region. Uh, the good news is, although we will be getting colder, because we're getting later into the season, we're not necessarily going to see the brutal cold that we saw back in February, but we will still likely be uh, several degrees below average for high temperatures. The expected cool down isn't all bad news. Cooler temperatures later this month going into April could mean less rain. In terms of severe weather, uh, at least in the near term, it looks uh, pretty low. Uh, precipitation is actually likely going to be below average here uh, as we head through the rest of the month of March. Uh, as we get into April, it's quite possible we could kind of stay in a cooler than average weather pattern, uh, which would make it less likely to see big time severe weather events. However, the uncertainty of spring weather patterns makes the perfect mix for severe weather. When storms hit, it's important to know the difference between a watch and a warning when they are issued. A watch is uh, going to be a much longer period, maybe six hours or so. It's going to cover a larger area, for instance, all of northern Illinois, maybe into Indiana as well. And it simply means conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather doesn't necessarily mean it's ongoing at the present time. Now, a warning means it's ongoing, you need to take action. Taking action means taking cover. Burke recommends getting indoors fast when a watch is issued. And if it escalates to a warning, head for cover, either in a basement or under a staircase, and stay away from windows. And warmer weather means the start of springtime allergies. Itchy eyes, sneezing, and a runny nose are the most common symptoms. And with the rise in molds and pollen sneaking up on us, we wanted to find the best ways to stay ahead of the game. So we headed over to DuPage Medical Group to get a few tips to prepare. The first thing that you can do um, is work on your environment and your environmental controls. So keeping the windows closed, uh, keeping the air on, uh, making sure that your pets are wiped down uh, with a wet cloth. Changing your routine to showering before bedtime is also important. Dr. Moran says that there is an invisible curtain of pollens and molds when stepping outside. So it's important we don't bring them to bed. And if medications just aren't cutting it and symptoms seem to be getting worse, that's a sign you should head to your doctor. Dr. Moran says try taking some over-the-counter medicines before your symptoms begin. 